Turkish government supporters confronted the country's protesters for the first time on Wednesday, signalling a rising risk of broader social conflict as both sides wait for Prime Minister Erdogan to return to Turkey tonight. Emre Pekka is in Istanbul. Emre, the demonstrators were quiet in Istanbul last night, but tensions are still rising elsewhere. Yeah, they are, Nick. Uh, in Ankara, police and protesters continue to clash and security forces fired uh, tear gas on the protesters despite government assurances that uh, they wouldn't resort to such methods um, earlier in the week. And also in Rize, the hometown of Prime Minister Erdogan, a group of uh, supporters of the governing party attacked uh, anti-government protesters um, and the police had to intervene this time, uh, pushing back Adon supporters uh, with the mayor and the uh, governor intervening swiftly to calm tensions. Have the protesters actually made their demands? I mean, you know, have they made their demands at this stage? Have the government responded to them? I mean, do we know what the position is there now? Uh, a group representing the protesters in Istanbul uh, went and met with the Deputy Prime Minister uh, Bülent Arınç, who's been stepping in for Mr. Erdogan uh, while he's in North Africa on a state visit. And they put forth uh, wide-ranging demands um, to the government, uh, secession of uh, police hostility, um, you know, not building a mall in the Gezi Park and a whole list of other things. Uh, but the government hasn't yet officially responded to the demands and we suspect that everyone is now waiting for Erdogan to come back and address them personally. These, these, viol these protests yeah, have been, been pretty violent for several days now. I mean, what are they, um, I mean, have there been any deaths or any more injuries? Uh, the, there has been an additional death. A policeman in the city of Adana uh, was injured according to the state-run news agency uh, which the matter today, bringing the death toll to four people. The three protesters and the police. As you said, uh, Emery, everyone's waiting now for the Prime Minister Erdogan to return tonight. Is he actually coming back earlier from this trip to North Africa, or is he just coming back as planned? No, this was a long, long planned trip. Uh, he was scheduled to come back tonight. Uh, he's expected in Istanbul around 9 p.m. local time, from what we understand. Um, and uh, I think all, all eyes are on him now, both from the government, from AKP uh, government supporters and the protesters uh, to see if he will continue the softening tone that uh, his deputies uh, struck uh, while he was away or if he will once again put the blame on the protesters and escalate tension. Is anybody worried that there could be demonstrations at his arrival at the airport? Uh, that is one of the biggest risks. Uh, the governing party's officials and leaders have called repeatedly on their supporters not to go to the airport, but they've also stressed that they can't, uh, you know, hold people back if they want to go. And from the protesters' side, uh, we haven't really heard much about people going to the airport, uh, and they are planning some festivities and concerts at Taksim Square for tonight. So hopefully there won't be any clashes. Emery, thank you very much.